So you, you, you brought it up, but I'm not sure if I understood it correctly. Uh, the keyword guide we have right now is, well, missing lots of information, especially the tricky ones when, when it comes to building a tricky screen. Yeah, yeah. So you guys going to create some kind of dictionary saying this element is doing this and this element is doing this, or what's going to happen? Because it would be really nice to have all elements and uh, just list like, some description of how we can use that. Because you run into that quite often that we have an element and then input the follow or like, something in the future kind yeah. of comment. Every, every single know. element and every single possible attribute and document what every single element. Right, right. It. Is that something doable? I know well, there are lots of them. It's, it's a lot of work. The documentation is pain, I know. No, no. Definitely the design guide is, it will have that library piece again, but it should be better. Uh, everything should be well vetted and you know have the UXI component to it as well, which will be a big piece. <laughs> oh, the KRAD guy. That's yeah, that is a chore. Uh, I don't know. We'd like to get feedback on that. We are keeping that up, and we for new things we are adding stuff and doing that, uh, and we're planning on do, keeping it up. Yeah, I know. Okay. Without, without yeah. everything that can be done, I, I, I have a wild guess as to what the right can be answered. Right, right. I days. I, literally, I, I read the code because the documentation doesn't help. Right. And, um, and another problem with it, like even what you guys have, for some of them, you don't have all our properties to start, like, explained or even yeah. And we have to actually place it all the way back to Kira, deeply in Kira, trying to understand what focus is doing what. Because sometimes the name is not very self explanatory Yes, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> go ahead, Brian. Did you guys use a library like the Kira, library? What it used to be called, the what you call now with Kira's design? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's still... Uh, design? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it has been very. You mean like sandbox kind of sandbox? No. It was a kitchen sink. Well, it was kitchen kitchen sink, sink well. But it's a little bit different than kitchen sink. And, and that's what the new application is going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that will be the best resource, honestly. Yeah. Uh, because besides the individual components, the UXI team will start looking at bigger, um, what do you call them, patterns stuff. Um, and yeah, and we're that will be up to, up to date too. The the K Rad guy is just um, we are doing that for new stuff, but then to backfill all the information and it changes so fast. And uh, I really I don't know if that's a good strategy forward or focus on the design guide and having some small little videos. Because the thing with the the K Rad guide, and maybe it's because people know that's not complete, so they stop checking. Is that people ask about stuff that actually is there, but it's probably that fact that they don't want to check through it because. It's just built with the AI guy. Yeah. More of a newer stuff, but it is much better. Yeah. Really if the chores are up, they can just. Yeah. But it, it kind of explains the philosophy. It does. It needs to be maybe trimmed down. Just trimmed it, trim it down, kind of like an introduction or something. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. But the other thing I want to mention, I still is we're still going to fall short no matter what we provide. Of when you get in those situations where you get a very complex design, right? Um, and we need to to figure out something there that we can get that and figure that out together and have that as a resource. That would be another great resource, I think, when people see actual complex views and how it's being solved. Um, so we should really think about that as well, how we can build that in to patterns or something. I agree with that. And another thing that I would like to just throw out there, so, I mean, there are people in this room that I have never met until today. Um, and the UX and UI devs that have, I guess, been <coughs> kind of a core group since February, we meet together several times a week and... That's a great forum for asking, you know, here's what I'm trying to do. Has anybody encountered this? Maybe figuring out some of those things together because obviously Jerry and Brian can't 
provide all this documentation overnight and things are in kind of a state of flux, but we can work together and try and share what we've learned and, you know, at least hopefully help each other out a little bit. So, again, as I said about the UXI meetings, if there's anybody in the room that does a lot of UI dev work that wants to join those groups, you know, send me your name and I'll get you added to our Skype chat and you know, if you're welcome to join the meetings, you're welcome just to be on the Skype chat if you just want to throw things in there. But, you know, I think that we have to have a community that's working together and, you know, some of that stuff we can hopefully contribute back mm -hmm. and help build out some of that documentation as we work through some of it. Let's go. Like, I guess the only other high level thing would be ease of upgrades and I know you have plans moving forward, uh, yeah. so upgrading from 2.4 to 2.5 shouldn't be mm -hmm. as painful as the projects. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you want to go into that now or... Well, just say, really, that uh, the, the things we have planned there were those couple of things, uh, trying to implement this process uh, where you guys are pulling, uh, you know, daily, I think. So we're built. It's not daily yet. But we're, we will be. We're yeah. There, yeah. Yeah. So we're dealing with smaller batches and uh, trying to fix those issues as they come along. That's going to be tremendous, I think. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, we've already gone through some of them. We've, uh, we've noted a couple minor issues and, and gotten through some of them. A lot of it's just refactoring, but I mean, there are some. There's already some screen alignment issues. And it's like back to the old thing though. There. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we'll be dealing with those issues as we're going through the the, uh, the work, the release, um, and and then the other thing is we're, we're just going to try to do a better job of documenting impacts, and the UXI project is going to do a better job of documenting from their side. Um, and the last thing I think will help with that is if we get the web content pulled out. That will help the designers with the CSS changes and so forth. So those are really those three things, I guess, is what we have planned right now to, to help with that. Yeah, and the, and the work we're doing with the, the T5 branch should also help with at least pointing out more of the impact and changes uh, that were mm -hmm. expected. Um, yeah. There's a lot of those in 4 where it's like, oh, we didn't realize we're doing that. And so there's two ways to that. It's like, like, yeah, we ran into an impact that probably shouldn't have been an impact because of the override. So it's like now we have a chance to fix the override before we <coughs> Yeah. Okay. Thanks.